Welcome back as we return to discuss the very important topic of filters. The biggest enemy of a hydraulic system is dirt. When particles of dirt enter internal components, such as direction control valves, relief valves and such like, major problems can occur. A system will generally be protected from the damage that dirt can cause by fitting strainers and filters. If you've ever traveled on a gravel road, then you'll know what dust looks like. Dust has a way of getting onto every surrounding surface and into every opening or gap. Dust of this nature is made up of very fine particles of grit, which, if seen under high magnification, would appear as tiny stones or rocks. And to the inside of a hydraulic system, this is exactly what they are. The air around manufacturing plants, factories or construction sites contains dust of some kind or another. Dust will always settle on equipment and will stick to any damp or oily surface. Hydraulic equipment tends to attract dust, especially around openings and seals. Eventually, some solid particles will find their way into the system. Having entered a system, Particles travel in the oil flow and eventually enter into the delicate parts of control valves, causing blockages and abrasive wear. Other particles will settle inside the reservoir, resulting in the formation of sludge. To prevent either from happening, dirt must be trapped and contained where it can do no damage. This is the job of strainers and filters. Various types of filters are used in hydraulic systems depending upon the pressure and degree of filtration required in the various lines of a system. The principle of filtering can be seen here in this simple demonstration. Into a sample of water, we'll introduce some grit in the form of dirty sand. Now we'll pour the mixture through a coffee filter, which is basically a form of paper. As we see, much of the sand has been trapped in the paper. If you look very closely at the paper, you will see that it is really a network of fibers and holes. In filter language, the holes are known as pores. Liquid passes easily through the pores, but solid particles are trapped and held in the fibers. Filters and strainers are manufactured from various porous materials called filter mediums. Filter mediums designed for use with hydraulic systems are specially prepared to withstand pressure, heat and the chemical reactions associated with hydraulic oil. We next describe the subject of micron rating, which is in effect all to do with the size of dirt particles and the size of the pores in various filter materials. Pore sizes are usually described in terms of micrometers or microns. A micron is equal to one thousandth part of a millimeter. To help you appreciate just how small we're talking, let's compare some familiar substances. Here we have some coarse sea sand consisting of millions of individual grains. A single grain of sand has a diameter of roughly 100 microns. A human hair has an average thickness of about 70 microns. The smallest particle size that can be seen by a healthy human eye is about 40 microns. Dirt or dust that is harmful to a hydraulic system is generally less than 40 microns. In other words, we cannot see the particles that cause the most damage in a system. A strainer is designed to trap relatively large particles. The average pore size of a strainer is around 100 microns. A filter is designed to trap smaller particles, often as small as 3 microns. 
Modern hydraulic filters are most usually designed as throwaway elements. An element is removed and discarded when a system is serviced. Some filters are fitted with a clogging indicator. Such a device provides warning that a filter is in need of replacement owing to it being clogged with particles. Let's take a break now. When we return, we'll look at the filters and strainers used on our system.